Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we got this 99 Ford F100 F150. Um, it's not ours, it's our neighbor's. He's the guy. I, I put a starter on this about a year ago. He's also the guy that dropped off the lawnmower for me to fix that one day. We got this mower we have to look at for a neighbor up the street. I had changed the starter on his Ford pickup one time. And the claim is there's no, he has no brake lights and no turn signals. Now on this truck, that's on the same circuit. So I'm guessing it's a fuse. If it's a fuse, what blew that fuse? Also, I don't know if it's something we can get into today. He said it had sporadic oil pressure. It was sitting along the road there when he dropped it off this morning. So I moved it over here. It has no oil pressure. Uh, the light's on and the gauge is on zero. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. We'll check the oil. And uh, But first, let's get on with the first complaint he has. And that's the uh, brake lights and turn signals. Let's get in this truck and see what's going on with it. Now I won't be able to see for the brakes, but I'm going to go in, turn the key on, hit the signals, and let's see what happens. No left signal. And no right signal. All right. You guys gotta tell me about the brakes. Okay. So we're gonna get in here, get in the fuse box see what we can see I'm gonna go grab a test light and uh, let's see if we can find out what the problem is I think that's a fuse not sure what would have blown it but let's put a fuse in it and find out so this is one of the things I like to do when I have a customer's car and they have electrical issues always look on the floor there's a fuse that's not blown there's a fuse that's not blown they're both 20 amp Here's the fuse panel. And you gotta pull this cover off here. Uh-huh, okay, so I don't know why they've got these fuses. It could be because of that thing, that stereo, or that amp, <laughs> that amp. He's also got a Kia. Now, mind you, this guy's older than I am. <laughs> and he bumps when he goes past. You can hear him coming. And he's also got a little Kia. Yes, you can. He bumps in that, too. Okay, so what we're going to do. I'll see if I can hold you here. i gotta find a, I got to find a good ground. <clears throat> My little end here is not the greatest. There's a piece of metal there. I gotta find. Okay. Let me get this on the ground. Oh, focus. Let me get this on the ground. And then we'll start checking these fuses. Because a lot of times they'll have marked on the inside of your panel what the fuses are. Or a lot of times they'll say. But this particular Ford does not. So. And I don't know why they don't do that. They all should do it. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's see if we've got any juice up in here. We'll just start checking some fuses. One should be hot. If not, I'll turn the key on. 
There's a 30 amp there. It wouldn't be that. It should be one of these 10, 10 millimeter. <laughs> one of these 10 amps. All right, we're gonna hear some bonging and binging here, so. Well, let me see. It's probably my ground. Let me get a better ground. So I checked the book. It does have numbers here on this thing. So number 13 is the fuse we're looking for, which is this 20 amp right here. And So, it's not the fuse, but we have no brakes or no uh, turn signals. So what we're going to do, we're going to come out here, we're going to look under this main distribution box here, see what we can find out, see what's under here. So I have to get the book out for this. See if there's anything in here we're missing. I don't know if it's one of these maxi fuses or relays, but let me consult to the book. Okay, so I got the book out and checked. And those two 10 amp fuses there are for trailer towing for the stop lamps and the left and right. One's left and one's right. Uh, there's no power to them. I've got power in other places, but not to these. Not to these two. Now there's an issue I had one time. Was it an Explorer or Expedition that also there's no, there's no four ways. Now sometimes on these Fords, If you have the steering wheel down too far, these wires were too too tight up here, and that would cause them to unplug. And you raise it up, and sometimes they start working. That's not the case with this one, but that's not saying it didn't come unplugged. So what I'm going to have to do is get up on top of this steering column. See if I, I don't even know if I had them on. So, what I'm going to have to, shit, I'm moving the seat up. What I'm going to have to do is get up here on top of the steering column and check them wires up in here and see if there's an issue there because I know I've had that problem before. So, there's some screws down here in the bottom of this panel and this will come apart. Uh, I don't know if that's going to give me access or not. I can't remember without pulling the steering wheel. Let's see if he's got headlights. Yeah, he's got headlights. See if, see if he's got tail lights, yeah. He's got tail lights. So, <coughs> excuse me, I think what I'm gonna have to do is get up in there and try that. I might go on the internet and see if that can tell me anything. Uh, Cause all the fuses are good. I don't know if I can move that enough or not. 
let me get a screwdriver and I'll get up under here okay so I did take this off or I got the two screws off down under here I'll just lift this up it looks like they're still plugging in I've seen the switch I've seen this come out of the plug before um, let's uh pull this down but in this case it looks like that's not the issue it's still plugged in but if you have this issue let me know if it fixed it for you I guess I'm, I'm gonna have to go online and research this yeah cuz these wires I've seen them come unplugged up here this one is that's not the case so let me do some more checking but usually it is a fuse or that issue I might have to get up under there see what's going on up in here I see a lot of I don't know if that's coffee or pop or what but there's been some liquid spilled down in here all right yeah, it's kind of sprayed everywhere. I don't know what that is. It's sticky. Probably coffee. Uh, all right. I'm going to keep searching around here. I might just pull this bottom panel down and see what I can see up in there. But still, the brake lights are not working either. So, uh, All right. I'm on a wild goose chase here, guys. Okay guys, got the headlights on here. I wanted to unhook the battery. Headlights on, okay. parking lights on, hood lights on. So I wanted to unhook the battery, try to reset the PCM. possible put this key in here My guess is he's got a battery back in here somewhere operating some of his sound equipment. Anything I can figure. Okay guys, so I started looking at these wires. They they were loose. Um, when I looked at them more, you get one just a little tug, it came clear out. And they're all like that. And they were real tight. I plugged them back in, still nothing. No brake lights, no turn signals, no flashers. Uh, I don't think it's this multi-function switch. I don't think it's this because it's working the wipers. It's working the uh, high and low beams. Uh, so the only thing I can figure is it's not making a good connection up inside of here. I've wiggled them and everything. That, I mean, no matter what you do, you put it up or down, it doesn't make any difference. See, I got them loosened up now. They're not, they're not pulling. They were real tight. 
Um, I got them up in there. I did super glue them into that plastic piece there, but I mean, still nothing. There is power. That red and white one right there does have power to it. And there's power to this for the washers, the windshield washers, windshield wipers. That all works. So, I can't see that switch being bad. Unless it's this part of it that's bad. So I'm gonna put this back together. Like I said, there's power going up into this. But I also noticed though, it, if I jump any of them wires from that power wire, or I even came from here, nothing happens in the back. Nothing. Uh, nothing happens up front. So I, <laughs> I don't know. There is a there is a flasher. It's up and way up underneath here. I gotta pull all this out to get to that. It's back up underneath there. But usually when they go bad, they'll they'll kick on, but they won't flash. Uh, this this is not kicking on or doing anything, no matter how I run a jumper to it or anything. So that's gonna be it on this one. My main reason to show you was you know if your steering wheel's all the way down try to raise it up and check that first and if that does it that's your problem right in here um and then of course check your fuse all my fuses are good well his fuses they're all good uh so i that's the only thing i can figure is it's something up in here I took this out. There's only a screw on top and a screw down here on bottom. And then you got a plug here for your wipers and stuff. And you got a plug here for your flashers. So I don't know what's going on here. It's kind of weird. So let me do a little more research on this and I'll get back with you and let you know what I'm going to do. Okay, guys. So I got it. Um. It's the flasher relay and it is there's your uh, your OBD to plug in for your to plug in to run your diagnostics it's right up above that it's in this it's the big one if it's never been changed it'll be blue it's the big one there, right there, that's the one. It'll have a cover on top of it. And it'll also have a piece of tape on it. I don't know why they did that. So. <clears throat> I know this light's out, this is a bulb. I'm gonna put one in it for him. It's got brake lights, turn signals. And four ways. I know, like I said, this bulb's out, so that one won't blink. See? So I'm going to put a bulb in it for him. And, uh... Because, uh... I got a hold of him and told him what I thought it was. He says, well, I'll be down. I'll, 
he just lives right up right on the other side of that white truck there um, but he was at work he must work close so I'll be down give you some money go get that part if if you can get up there I said yeah I can, I can go and get it for you he said okay cool he was here in about five minutes so it must be close and uh, he said well, what are you gonna charge me he always does that I said I five bucks I'll charge you five bucks he showed up with money and said here's for the part <laughs> and he said here is uh, forty dollars for you <laughs> so all right of course I, I got to put all this stuff back up back together and everything um, I got them wires I did get them fixed up in there so it's not that's not a going to be an issue for him now um let's go ahead and put a bulb in this thing for him i'll do this i'll put this back together tomorrow let's see here course it won't stay up hang on a second guys okay change this ball just take these two screws out here so I'm gonna go get my tool and I'll show you how to take that apart yeah I didn't think it, I didn't think it'd be that flasher I thought it was either it would either be a fuse or that um, that wire harness up there in the uh, on top of that steering column. I did fix the the oil pressure light at least temporarily. I mean, I don't know how well it's fixed. Uh, I I did reset the uh, should come straight straight out uh, I set reset the PCM and uh, oil pressure came back so I don't think it's an actual oil pressure problem I think it was just the it was just wasn't working well let me go get a piece of plastic so I can pry that out of there I didn't have your recording but you just got to get on there and pry it out see it gets rusty here on these little tabs one on top and one on bottom they get rusty and they don't want to come out so just turn that like that a quarter turn pull that out I've got one of these 3157 let me go get one and I'll be right back okay I got a couple bulbs here flashing might not be the ball okay well that's another issue apparently well those broke Let me grab my test light.
figures I can't get a ground because of this stupid thing. Yeah, that's another issue there, apparently. Let me turn the lights on. Make sure I got a good ground. Yep. Alright, so he's got another issue. It's not just the bulb. So, I think I'll check that out tomorrow. Yeah, we'll check that out tomorrow and uh, see what's going on with that. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's just another issue. Well, we know it's not the bulb. But I'm going to put him a good one in anyway. And let's get this put back together. Because I'm not putting it all back together until in the morning anyway. I'm running out of light here. <laughs> Pun intended. back in there there's that but it's blinking up front and it's not a ground because then if it was ground the tail light wouldn't work either but it's working So, probably that one wire for the turn signal that's causing that. So, all right, there we go. Okay, guys. So, what's going on here? <laughs> so, anyway, guys, it's a lot darker than it looks in this camera. So, yeah, I'll figure out what's going on with that for him. I mean, he, he pays me good money. I'll... I'll take good care of him but yeah if if you check your fuse this is this is a 99 and I think it's clear up to 2003 I don't know but if you have one of these F style uh, this like I said this is 99 uh, 98 is the same I think 2000 is the same but if you got tilt wheel and your fuses are good check that first you know and then if that's not it it's probably that flasher so anyway guys thanks for watching i might bring you along with me so we can diagnose what's going on with this side so because they'll pull you over here they don't care so anyway any <laughs> jeez <laughs> monkey's doing better she had to run the store so i'm gonna get my stuff put away here get this truck locked up and then uh We'll see you in the next one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, maybe you'll see me tomorrow. Maybe we won't see each other. I don't know. It depends on if you watch, right? <laughs> but, yeah, that should be interesting trying to track that down. Uh, there is a plug up under here. Uh, over here. As your, you know, left-hand side, driver's side of the truck. Uh, there's, you know, beside your spare tire on the frame rail, there is a plug there. I know on these things it could be in there it could be dirty we'll check all that tomorrow so anyway again guys thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the myth the man of legend gone for now we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys and take care